Hello, Verbling.com members. You are connected to the number one online language learning community in the world. This is March Madness. We are going crazy here at Verbling.com. We are starting to teach our second language, el castellano, español, Spanish. We are teaching Spanish. And of course, welcome to another English class, 24-7, every day, all day long, class after class after class. Verbling is going to be the Facebook of Language Learning Online. Hello, my name is Jeff Watson. I come from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. But right now, I am speaking to you from Chile, the country in South America, and I live in their capital city, Santiago. And so I'm saying hello to one of my number one students. Join the class. Hamid, how are you? I am uh, hail and hearty. Ah, again, please. You are. I am, ha I am hail and hearty. Hale and Hardy. Okay. Uh, here, let me try uh, this here. Um, uh, if I say, Hamid, how are you? And then you can say, hey, life is good. How about that? Hey, life is good. So if you say, how are you? You say, hey, life is good. And that's, okay. Well, that's my personal style. Uh, okay. <laughs> how is the new structure for today? Uh, sorry? I used a new structure, hail and hearty. I, 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 I had never heard it before. Sorry, that's something new. Okay. For me. But, but you have a different style, huh? It's, so it's okay. Fit as okay. a fiddle. I, I like that one. I'm in the pink. That's, I wouldn't recommend that, but you, you, you go with what you think is, uh, works for you and your personal okay. style. <laughs> okay. All right, so I have a document that I have prepared, and it has some articles on it, and we're going to be uh, uh, listening to a broadcast. Uh, this is uh, GWF6. I have tried to teach this uh, information before, but we had some technical problems. Uh, this is about, uh, well, no, really, this is about the Chinese movie making industry and I wanted to have everyone what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on my screen share and uh, show the 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 screen here and now is this working yes good because what I want to do is to show the and where is it the YouTube if you can see my cursor the YouTube application so if people could please use that, uh, we, you'll be able to see some of the short video clips that I would like to show. And the, the first video clip that I would like to show is uh, a trailer. So trailers are advertisements or commercials for movies, if you don't know. And uh, this is for a movie that was, I believe, released in the year 2000. So a little bit more than two, uh, sorry, a little bit more than 10 years ago, this movie was made in China, and it was very, very successful in, was very successful in the United States and Canada. So enjoy watching the trailer. It had a really different look and beautiful music.
Oh, okay. I can't hear uh, the teacher. Okay, great. And so, sorry, Abdallah, uh, the only advice I can give you uh, is that for me, the sound of the YouTube videos plays through my computer speakers and does not play through my headphones. And so it does change the audio from one set of speakers to the other. All right, but I, I hope that... It's perfect uh, now. <laughs> yeah, I hope that people saw the, the trailer and uh, I hope that you heard it as well. So it was a very successful movie, but the Chinese movie producers, and now the movie industry is more controlled by the mainland Chinese government. Uh, this movie was produced with more of the Hong Kong um, uh, movie making industry. and. and uh, things are going to change, but the Chinese government is in the Chinese government is investing more money in creating movies. And uh, just we need to keep that YouTube video turned off. Please don't click on that video. Um, and and I'll be uh, sharing some more clips with you later. All right, and so to start this class, I'm going to use the uh, I'm going to use the screen share, and uh, this is essentially the most complicated introductory question in the history of verbling, and so I've written it down on a document, and so the idea is imagine a situation where your country has asked you to make a movie and they've given you lots of money to make the movie they want the movie to be successful and so they want the movie to make money but they also want the movie to show uh, your country's culture in a positive way and uh, they um, yeah, and so they, they want both of these things. They want it to be successful, uh, maybe even in the, um, sorry, maybe even in the foreign market, and they also want it to have, uh, to show your country's, or sorry, to show positive aspects of your country's culture. All right, and so, uh, Abdallah, could you start with this? Now, what I'd like to do is do two turns each to give people time to think about their answer. So, Abdallah, um, can you start us? Or, or yes. maybe I'll ask someone as a volunteer. Um, sorry, Abdallah, uh, uh, is there someone who would like to volunteer to start? Hmm. So, uh, I'm Canadian, so then my movie... Mm -hmm. I would make sure that it had something to do with watching our national sport hockey and people doing normal things like children playing outside in the snow when the weather is 40 degrees below zero. So those are kind of some ideas that I would put into my Canadian movie. So does anybody have any ideas? You don't have to talk for long, just practicing some quick statements and everybody can say hello and introduce themselves. Uh oh, we're having very little participation. <laughs> David, <laughs> on, I, I'm here to help you. So, Hamid, Hamid, you need I'm to make a movie. Okay. 
Can you explain again, please? Well, it's. Do you see it on the screen? Yes, I am. I see. I see. Oh, okay. So your country, Turkey, is going to give you, I don't know, ten million dollars to make a movie. The government, and they say, Hamid, we want this movie to portray or show our culture in a positive way, but we also want it to be entertaining and successful. And so, is there an actor or actress that you would hire right away? Where would you film the movie? Would you film it in the Zan Istanbul? Sort of the... Uh, Jeff? Yeah? Yes, Ismar. Yes, Jeff. Uh, I would uh, make a movie about uh, urban culture of the Turkey. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Because people are more natural uh, who live in uh, countryside, I think. Uh, Jeff, I yeah. hear uh, my voice uh, after I speak. There is a second voice. You you may need to um, pause. S somebody verbling video. But but please go ahead. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, the people who are living in the countryside are. Uh, I think more natural than yeah. the people who are living in the city. So, so, but uh, you said you would make the movie about urban culture. Urban yes. is city. Yes. Okay. Or, uh, or people uh, are sharing your bread with uh, foreign people. Uh, they yes. are. Uh, guestful people who are yes, living so in urban and they, they uh, are welcoming. The technology uh, didn't affect and uh, change them because uh, there is no technology, there is uh, maybe no capitalism in the countryside. People so you, you would show this? Yes. Oh, oh okay. Want, All right. So I you would show this in my. Yeah. Uh, but film. rural, rural people, country yes. people. Oh, okay. Country people right. and country lifestyle. Yes. Okay. Awesome. The character of country person. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So you would not show urban culture, not the city, but you would show uh, welcoming people. Uh, the custom of sharing bread with visitors and rural people, country people. Okay, awesome. Let's get some other ideas from from some other people. Yeah, I found. Uh, um, yeah, Hamid, please go ahead. Sorry, okay. Victor, I'll come to you next. Seventh uh, yes. of April uh, is very famous day for uh, chemists. Uh, I mean, seventh uh, of April, uh, chemist day. So I want to make a, a short uh, movie about yes. this uh, because uh, I want to advertise uh, this day for people all over the world. Okay. Uh, maybe and now is that tied to the culture of your country? No, uh, it is okay. uh, all over the world. Okay. All right. Great. Uh, and so you maybe would make a, a short film. Yes, uh, maybe I can put uh, this movie, uh, Mary Curie, Einstein, uh, like uh, typing people. I mean, uh, for example, some people uh, look like Mary Curie or uh, Einstein, uh, yes. so okay. I can put uh, my movie. Okay, so you would like to make a short film about uh, chemists and chemistry. All right, great. So, Victor? Hello, welcome. Uh, where where are you connecting from? Hello, I'm from Spain. Um, okay, good. All I right. guess uh, I would make a fi uh, his historical film. Okay, good. At what what time period? Mm, I don't know. Um, maybe um, in uh, 
en eh, mm, uh, 1500 oh ok, so a long time ago yeah, when uh, America uh, has discovered oh ok, alright, uh, so yeah. ok, excellent, ok, great and uh, Victor Zapata, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, do you have some comments about... Now, your government is giving you this money, but you need to make a movie about your country's culture. So, what kinds of things would you put in that movie? Okay, great. Well, I'm from Mexico, so... Okay. I, I could... My movie could bring... Uh, could bring up uh, about archaeological songs like... Okay, good. Like Mayan culture, Aztec culture, Teotihuacan pyramids or castles. So, yes. no, I don't know. I mean, maybe like uh, Indiana Jones could be. Why not? Yeah. Okay. But, but more related with the why not with the with the scientific uh, advances. Okay. Great. Yeah. So a modern day uh, Indiana Jones. Raiders of the Lost Ark, but then it would be visiting some of the ancient sites and ruins in Mexico. Yeah, of course. All right, sounds good. I've done that. I've seen lots of the places in Mexico, so I agree. That'd be awesome. Okay, and who's next? This is your chance to say hello and give me no. some ideas about yes. what you would put in your movie. Rod? Yeah. 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 Go ahead, please, Rod. Okay, um, I would like to make a movie like a science, science fiction movie. Okay. And how would you combine science fiction with the culture in Peru? Okay, there are big, and uh, uh, there's a place called uh, Nazca in my country, and oh, there, yeah. there are big, very, very huge lines there. And some theories uh, says that it was uh, like an uh, alien airport here. Yes. So uh, how, I would like. How to... do you spell Nazca? N A A Z. Uh huh. C A. C A Nazca. Okay. Yeah. The, we say the Nazca lines, and mm -hmm. those are quite famous. Uh, Sorry, yeah, no. that's right. Okay, and uh, so there was already a movie about that, talking about who made those lines, and it must have been made by aliens or yeah, <laughs> extraterrestrials. So good, good. There's only a documentary about that, right. but okay. there's no a film. I would like oh, to okay. A film. So you want to? When aliens come uh -huh. to Peru and <laughs> they use those lines like an airport and help people and they trade their cultures or uh, I don't know the, it's going to be really really uh, it's going to be really interesting okay awesome and uh, Ismail uh, he, uh, he or she or he sorry would like to use the natural geography of his country as special effects and uh, yeah uh, petroglyphs or geoglyphs great good topic you need a great script <laughs> all right and who's next <laughs> all right and who's next? what yes. kind of movie would you make for your government uh, yeah. Uh, yeah Abdallah for, for Egypt Abdallah yeah for Egypt. yes uh, if they give me money I uh, I will touch uh, every uh, all, all positive aspects in my country. I uh, I will talk about historical tourism, cultural aspects, also the the civilization. I we have uh, uh, over uh, seven uh, uh, ten thousand uh, years civilization. Uh, I will talk about uh, the the history uh, the uh, uh, pharaonic history okay and the, uh, the well uh, uh, yeah there is history 
Okay, great. Thank you. I will talk about the jug. Yeah, I will. All right, great. So, uh, and who's next? Who's next? I have a new idea, uh, Jeff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I want to make uh, a movie about uh, uh, First World War uh, because uh, every person uh, is keen on uh, Second World War, uh, so uh, I can uh, find unbelievable uh, love story for this movie. Okay. And uh, I can make a partnership. Uh, other countries, for example, Balkanian countries or okay. Arabic countries. Good. Uh, and All right. So a love, can, a love story set in the First World War? Maybe. Okay. All right. I, I'm going to move on. Uh, uh, Narish, are you there? Okay. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh yes, Nadish. Uh, yeah. Would you hi, like hi. to participate in our movie making question? Definitely, I I, I would be. I would like to uh, participate. Yeah, please go ahead. Uh, what kind of movie would you make for India? Uh, I would like to make a movie on Indian culture. On what culture? India, India culture. Oh yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so which will include. Uh, uh, about India, what is India? Like in India, we have uh, all, t I mean, uh, many types of religions like Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Isai, and uh, India culture is a mixture of, uh, it's a mixture of uh, many uh, religions. It's not only uh, only Hindus culture, it's Hindus, Muslim, like uh, Hindu celebrate uh, Diwali, then Muslim celebrate uh, Eid, uh, Christian, uh, uh, the, the uh, what do you say? Their celebration. I mean, their celebration. Yeah. Everybody uh, celebrating different things. Uh, yeah. Different events. So, okay. Yeah. So that would be, I mean, uh, that would be good. Yeah. yeah Sorry, I'm, I'm going to move on. I, I just wanted this to be a, a quick introduction. So great. And then, sorry, I wanted to say hello to uh, Sanad. Are you there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hello, welcome. Uh, and so, where are you connecting from, and what kind of movie would you make for your government? Okay, I am from Saudi Arabia. I am sorry, I little speak English. Okay, I speak, no, good. I speak English little. Okay? That's, that's fine. I am sorry. I listen very good, and little okay. speak. Okay, mm -hmm. I am sorry. And Next. so, Saudi Arabian culture in a movie? Mm, no. No? Okay. All right. No, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, Sanad. And and then I wanted to... Uh, Victor Zapata, are you there? I'm here. Yes. Uh, did, did I talk to you? Yeah, already. Oh, okay. Sorry. And so... Uh, and then the other Victor, uh, Alemani, I, I spoke yeah. to you, correct? Yeah. Okay. From Spain. And I then... Um, uh, Waje yeah. Malik? Yeah, yes, yes. Go ahead. I want, I want to make a movie about the culture of Pakistani and ah, okay. yeah, Pakistani and, and culture. And I want to show the in which movie uh, make a great huge amount of like uh, like a <clears throat> love story and entertainment as well as love is truly what? Sorry. Love story. Oh, a love story. Okay. Yeah, as well as entertainment. In, okay. In my movie, yeah. All right, great. And uh, Ismail has put uh, that Peter Jackson was very successful at making the Lord of the Rings, uh, and used New Zealand's natural beauty uh, as the backdrop. Yeah, which was perfect. And Victor finds that. Uh, India is, is very interesting, quite interesting. All right, and I, I think I've had a chance to say hello to everybody. So this is the idea that the Chinese government has now. The Chinese government has lots and lots of money, and so they're thinking, how can we make successful movies and also show China 
in a positive way and and to show um, more about our culture because they've been a very closed society for so many years. All right, so uh, and then the um, ah so uh, Andres wants to know uh, some vocabulary from the filmmaking business. So yeah, uh, it's easy if you Google that. I'm sure you'll find lots and lots of vocabulary. Uh, I'm going to bring up the document GWF6 and actually let's go with uh, I'd like to show another clip from uh, the YouTube video or, or sorry another YouTube video this is the most uh, or this is one of the movies that we're going to talk about it's called Aftershock and at the time this article was written a few years ago it was the most successful, financially successful movie in, in Chinese history. And so let's go with this here. Oops, this is Lost in Thailand. That's not the one I wanted. Um, I'm going to go with the other one here. And so I think this is it here. Sorry, folks, just uh, I'm trying to practice using the uh, YouTube. Sorry, but I'm having trouble with the links here. Okay, I think uh, this is good. And we'll go with this. Come on, Jeff. Here we go. Oh, why am I getting the same things here? All right. That's Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. We already had that. All right. I'm making a mess of this. So if I go here and paste this in, just give me one minute here. Here it is, Aftershock. This is the one I, I wanted. So let's see if we can do this. So there's actually no uh, audio, or, or sorry, there's no dialogue in this movie. So you can see that this is some sort of disaster. Many people have died. And then the film is going in reverse. Now, aftershock are the small earthquakes that happen after a big earthquake. So it seems that this movie is about an earthquake. And so everything is going back in time. It showed the buildings collapsing. And it looks like this girl has a very happy life. So it seems as though her life is going to change after the earthquake. As China has had some very large earthquakes in its history. So there she is with her mother and her brother, I'm assuming. And so this is the idea of the movie, I guess, is to show what happens after an earthquake. All right, and so good. So this is, this is the movie that uh, was the most financially successful movie in Chinese history up until recently. All right, so I hope people enjoyed watching that. And uh, what I'd like to do now is to bring up the uh, screen share and let's start reading this article so we have a chance to listen to it. And let's go with this, the screen share. <laughs> this is, uh, I'm at the limit of my technical ability. And so here we go. China invests in filmmaking for image and profit. Okay. 
And I'm just going to... Uh, oh, these are the people that made the movie uh, Aftershock, uh, which won some awards and made the most money in Chinese history. All right. And so what I'd like to do is to start here. And Abdallah, could you read this paragraph for us, please? Yes, I will. Uh, in, the, in the decade uh, since the release of Angeles uh, blockbuster Crushing Tiger, Hidden uh, Dragon, Chinese filmmakers have struggled to repeat uh, its international success. But the Kui, uh, Kui Gang Film and TV Investment Group is hoping a new project might provide perfect uh, fodder for a Hollywood hit. The Chinese government uh, on the company recently invested uh, 30 million dollars in hopes of making a movie that would both celebrate Chinese culture and turn a TD profit. Okay, good. And the, the only word I can help you with is tidy. I sound tidy. Yeah. Uh, and tidy. Um, this is uh, an expression it means to make money, to make good money. And a blockbuster is an incredibly successful movie, which Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon was. And so there, this is a government-owned filmmaking company, and they have invested $30 million, and they hope to make a movie that celebrates Chinese culture and makes a profit. All right, great. And so what have they done? Uh, uh, Hamid, could you please read this next paragraph, please? Okay. It started by hiring an A-list director, Anton, Anthony Fukua, the man behind the Oscar-winning film Training Day, says he didn't know what to make of the offer at first. I mean, how often do you get a call that, you, uh, that the Chinese government is interested in you making a movie? Fukua says with a laugh, I was like, I'm being uh, set up somewhere. I was trying to remember what I did the last time I was in China that might get me arrested. Okay, so an A-list director is a top director, very successful, very popular, very famous. So this company, this Chinese government-owned company, has hired uh, an American film director. I think he's American. And if people saw the film Training Day, he made that movie. So that and that won an Oscar. Uh, uh, I didn't. Did, has anybody seen that movie, Training Day? Anyone? No. No. Okay. Yeah. So I, oh, uh, what was it about? The the military or? Uh, police corps. Oh. Oh, I'm see. Yeah. 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 Okay. About yeah, police officers? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And one of them was corrupt? One yeah, of them yeah. was dishonest? Okay, good. All well, right. The first time, uh, yeah, well, the first day for uh, police, and uh, the, another one was corrupt. Right, he, the one who was teaching him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right, good, training him. Okay, good. Yeah, I remember uh, that was with the actor, uh, the black actor. Sorry, I forget his name. Uh, and so uh, the, the director was really suspicious at first. He's saying, wow, uh, how often do you get a phone call from the Chinese government saying they want you to make a movie? <laughs> he, th he thought he was being set up. To be set up means that someone uh, is trying to trick you or play a joke on you or trap you and he's thinking wow what did I do in China that might get me arrested <laughs> so it's a pretty crazy situation to be called by the Chinese government okay but they're hiring foreign people to make the films alright and Ismail could you read this selection for us please yes but Fuga signed Signed on, and then the company brought on David Fronsi, the writer behind Gladiator, to draft an epic story about forbidden romance set in China in 
700 before Christ. Mm -hmm. China friendly films. Stan Rosen, a professor of Chinese film at the University of Southern California, knows that China has the money to finance major films. He says what China doesn't doesn't have is the infrastructure and the talent to consistently make international box office hits. Okay, great. All right, and so he signed on. He signed the contract and became part of the team. And then they brought in a film script writer. Uh, and I'm sure most of you have watched the movie Gladiator. So he wrote the movie Gladiator. So these are A-list people. And so they're going to create a movie about a forbidden, which means it was not allowed, uh, romance uh, 700 years B.C., 700 B.C. Okay. All right, great. So China has the money, but what they don't have is yeah. the talent and the infrastructure, the movie-making infrastructure. And so, good. So they're hiring international people. So maybe the movies will be really good. Uh, and so um, I'm going to move on to uh, Nadish. Uh, could you please read the next two paragraphs? Yeah. So the government is learning everything it can from U.S. film business. But Rosen says the film financed by the Chinese government will likely also serve as a subtle from subtle form of propaganda. They are trying to get films made that present a somewhat different image of China than the one you read about in the yeah sorry in the paper in the paper about buying resources in Latin America and Africa and all over the world jailing Nobel Prize winners that kind of thing says Rosen okay good and this is uh, this is the Antoine Fuqua I think is maybe how he pronounces his name so this is the director uh, that they have hired okay and okay. Uh, yeah so we're, we're talking about propaganda and so propaganda is positive information written by the government to try and change people's opinions they're going to do it subtly so just with this word here we do not pronounce the B the B is silent subtle subtle, subtle. 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 so they don't want to be obvious they want to be subtle and uh, they want to take away, I think China is being criticized by buying a lot of natural resources in all over the world. And uh, sometimes the Chinese government uh, puts people in jail who are free uh, thinkers, people who speak out against the things that are happening in the country. So, uh, so some of the criticism that people make of China. All right, and so let's move on. So we're with uh, Rod. Could you read this for us, please, Rod? Yes. Mm, but Hollywood has also started making China-friendly films on its own, knowing that the Chinese government bans movies that paint it in uh, bad light. In the recent disaster flick, uh, 2012, for example, the, Ch the Chinese saved the human race by building impressively large and technological advanced boats. Leave it to the Chinese, says one old Westerner in the film. I didn't think it was possible. All right, so uh, this is odd, which is an amazed Westerner. Wow, listen, leave it to the Chinese. I didn't think it was possible. So if you saw that disaster movie called 2012. And to paint something in a bad light means to make it look negative, make it look bad. And so they want to make China-friendly films that, that make China look good and, and not bad. All right. And uh, then 
Uh, yes, let's let's keep moving on. Censorship is uh, a, a big issue, and so Victor uh, Alemani, uh, could you read the first two paragraphs here, please? Yes. Still, uh, many movie makers balk at the idea of letting uh, any government dictate their artistic vision and possibly censor content. Screenwriter David Fra Franzoni says. He plans to make the upcoming Tank Dynasty film as real and reality as possible, even if the means, even if that means depicting cruel, violent Chinese rulers. Rulers, ooh, rulers. Rulers. Okay. Rulers. Good. And okay. Uh, we say dynasty, die, dynasty. dynasty. Okay. Uh, Gritty okay. means kind of. Dirty, uh, rough, not perfect, and so to make it real and a little bit uh, uncomfortable, and so and to balk. Just quickly, the L is silent. We just say balk, which means to hesitate or say no. So many movie makers would not want to make a movie for a government because the government would be telling them what to do and they would censor content. But the screenwriter is saying, that, that doesn't matter because uh, I'm going to make a film that's as realistic as possible, even if that means showing or depicting uh, cruel, violent Chinese rulers. Okay, and uh, I'm going to go back to you people. And so the other Victor, could you please read this highlighted phrase? Yeah, sure. Means I've got studios who want to censor me, says Franzoni. This is not a new. So whether it's a government or a studio, I'm pretty hardened to that. I'm not worried about it. Okay, good. And so yeah, uh, he has. Uh, yeah, uh, just I wanted to review this, and then I'll let you read the next one. So he's got private film studios trying to censor his co uh, work. So it doesn't matter. Uh, he's pretty hardened. So he's hard, tough, resistant to that. He's not worried about that. And uh, could you please read this last paragraph for us? Squabbles. Uh, Squabbles. Mm -hmm. Squabbles over scripts and plots are par for the course in Hollywood. And if China wants to get into the business, that's something the government might need to get used to. Okay, good. Squabbles is another word for fights or arguments. And par for the course is a term from the sport golf. And it just means that it's something very ordinary, normal, average. Par for the course is average. So when you're fighting, when you're making a movie in Hollywood, people argue and fight over the scripts over the storyline, the plot, and so if China wants to make good movies, they are going to have to get used to fighting over the content. All right, and now, if for those of you who have downloaded the document, here is the uh, transcript. And so what we're going to do is we're going to listen to the transcript, and uh, I'm going to move the text down for you. And so I'm going to unplug my um, microphone right now, and I will play the will podcast play for all of you to listen to. So enjoy. Enjoy. Okay. Think of the last big movie to come out of China. From King Lee, the director of Sense and Sensibility. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. That movie was released over a decade ago. Chinese filmmakers haven't been able to repeat its international success since. But Ascendant Totten from member station KPCC reports the Chinese government recently hired top Hollywood talent to produce a film based on an ancient Chinese love story. How's this for a movie pitch? The year 700 BC, Tang Dynasty China. A powerful emperor falls in love with a beautiful commoner. 
They share a bond so strong, only a war could tear them apart. Sounds like perfect fodder for a Hollywood hit, right? That's what the Chujian Film and TV Investment Group is hoping. The Chinese government-owned company put down thirty million dollars in hopes of making a movie that would celebrate Chinese culture and turn a tidy profit. It started by hiring an A-list director. I mean, how often do you get a phone call like that that the Chinese government is interested in you making a movie? That's Antoine Fuqua, the man behind the Oscar-winning film Training Day, right after a press conference announcing the movie. He says he didn't know what to make of the offer at first. I was like, I'm being set up somewhere. This is a set up. I'm trying to remember what I did the last time I was in China that might get me arrested. He signed on. The company also brought on David Franzoni, the writer behind the mega hit Gladiator. What China has right now is money. Stan Rosen is a professor of Chinese film at the University of Southern California. He says what China doesn't have is the infrastructure and talent to consistently make international box office hits. Hollywood does. So the government is learning everything it can from the U.S. film biz. But Rosen says there's another reason China is so intent on making movies. They're trying to get films made that present a somewhat different image of China than the one that you read about sometimes in the paper about buying resources in Latin America, Africa, all over the world, jailing Nobel Prize winners, that kind of thing. He says it's a subtle form of propaganda, and since the Chinese government bans movies that paint it in a bad light, Rosen says. Even Hollywood has started making China-friendly films. You know, 2012 was the best example, I think, because it did so well, and it was so obvious in that film that only China can save the world. In the disaster flick 2012, starring John Cusack, the Earth is about to be soaked in a giant flood. The super-rich pay to have impressively large and technologically advanced boats made in China. Leave it to the Chinese. I didn't think it was possible. Not in the time we had. Still, many movie makers balk at the idea of letting any government dictate their artistic vision and possibly censor content. Screenwriter David Franzoni says he plans to make the upcoming Tang Dynasty film as real and gritty as possible, even if that means depicting cruel and violent Chinese rulers. Let's let's be frank, okay? I've got studios who want to censor me. Not, this is nothing new. So whether it's a government or a studio, I'm pretty hardened to that. I'm not worried about it. Squabbles over scripts and plots are par for the course in Hollywood, and if China wants to get into this business, that's something the government better get used to. For NPR News, I'm Sandin Totten in Los Angeles. From NPR News, this is All Things Considered. I'm Audie Cornish, and I'm Robert Siegel. 2012 was a record year for the movie business in China. Theaters. So great, thank you.、Uh, and and so uh, what? Uh, yeah, yes. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Yeah, good. All right. So I hope that you、uh, enjoyed listening、yes. to the podcast.、Yeah. Uh, I recommend to all students that you need to find something that's interesting. Then you have to read it. You have to listen to it. You have to study it. You have to read it again. You have to listen to it again. And and that way you really learn. The language that the people are using in the article or the TV show or the song, whatever it is, it's a great way to improve your English. All right, and so、uh, we've got lots of time left, and so what I wanted to do was to bring up those questions again uh, about uh, making a movie for your country. But I also wanted your ideas.、Uh, what did you think that was interesting about this、uh, article? Do you think that your country should invest more money in making movies that teach the world uh, uh, about your culture? And what movies are successful in in your in your country? So,、um, uh, who would like to go first with with another comment?、Mm. I think. Yeah,、uh, Abdallah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's、uh, the easiest way to.、Uh, To introduce the country and、uh, to introduce to introduce the country for uh, for all uh, uh, it's making、uh, movies about the country. It talks about、uh, 
its culture, uh, history, and uh, also landscapes and uh, tourism places uh, to invite tourists and also um, and visitors uh, if they uh, found uh, something interesting in the movie uh, and the the resources in this uh, country which uh, which are available uh, to invest their money uh, in it so I yeah. think it's uh, the easiest and the beautiful uh, way yeah so it's a good investment of money it works very well and like I've heard things like everybody knows about the pyramids in Egypt but some of the Egyptian students have told me that there is uh, beautiful swamps uh, and wetlands and people go scuba diving in Egypt and there's yeah. lots of different things available in Egypt uh, lots of natural parks and so yeah I'd like to see a, a movie about that alright yeah. and so great uh, who would like to go next anyone would you be interested in watching a Chinese movie <laughs> Uh, do you think that the movies that your country makes uh, shows your country as being positive? Just Mesh turn on your microphone. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry. So, Victor uh, Sapata? Yes. Well, most of the times here in Mexico, we got uh, good filmmakers. They they are used to, to make uh, movies about violence, about drug leaders. Mm, yeah, mafia wars. So mm -hmm. most of the times, uh, we they 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 they've been making the current topics uh, that are that are affecting our society, our society. So mm, the government uh, sometimes uh, wants to make a a propaganda, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. For uh, for call tourism, tourism. Yeah, so, to in, encourage tourism. Yeah, of course. Uh, so I didn't mean that all Mexico it's a a song war, a war song. But yeah. yeah. Um, we need to uh, invest in culture and make different movies also, uh, as well. Mm, for example, Cancun is, is not uh, is not Tijuana, so we need uh, we need to uh, extend the branches, not just speak about the bad things. We okay. we got uh, already good things. If not, we were a a a a song war or something like that. A war zone. Yes. Yeah, no, I totally agree with you. Good point. And as I said, I, I lived and traveled in Mexico for about two years. And yeah, just beautiful places all over Mexico, and I never had any problems at all. And, and so, great. Uh, Ismail, I'd like to read his comment. In my country, the film which touches the soul of, of, uh, of humanity, maybe, of, uh, is... Uh, more successful than the high-budget production films. So people are looking for different types of films uh, which uh, have not been produced before. So good, some movies. Uh, uh, Wajay, uh, are you there? Yeah, yeah, of course. Malik, yeah. yeah, please, go ahead. I want my, my country... Uh, uh, Wajay, uh, just quickly, we're, we're hearing some noise from your microphone. So if you're moving your microphone, please stop. Uh, please yeah. try to hold your microphone still. Yeah, go ahead, yeah, yeah. please. Mm -hmm. uh, my country is not able to make a movie this drive. Mm -hmm. That is why I am not... Uh... Please go ahead. Able to make a movie. That is why I am not... Uh, have a discussions about it. Well, okay, but do you think that your country should make some movies uh, to yeah, teach the world course, uh, more about Pakistan? Yeah, 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 of course. Well, and and so, okay, good, great. And so, uh, someone else would like to make a comment. 
Uh, yeah, in my yes, opinion, is, is a, uh, making a film about uh, your country is a good way to promote uh, the, this country, the tourism, uh, tourism of the country, uh, instead of uh, wasting money uh, in advising in, in uh, yeah in TV or uh, something like that. Oh yeah, okay, good. So instead in, of advertising in, in commercials, you make a movie. Yeah, in commercials, yeah. Here in Europe, um, Woody Allen is specialized in uh, making movies about uh, uh, the main cities of Europe, like Paris, uh, Barcelona. Yeah, Woody Allen? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so mm -hmm. good. And then my recommendation for you is you should watch the movie called The Way. It's, uh, it's about Spain and about, uh, I'm sorry, what is it, the pilgrimage to uh, the famous church. I, I'm, I'm trying to think. Everybody walks it. The pilgrims walk it. You know what I'm talking about? To San Jose. No, uh, sorry. Let me think about it. Uh, El Camino de San... Santiago. Yes, okay. And so that's a movie made in America that really promotes tourism in mm. Spain. I'm la, sure it got lots catedral, of people to go to Spain. Yeah. La Catedral de Compostela. Yes, Compostela. Okay, great. Mm. So you should, you should check out that movie. It's, it's, it, it would be good for you to practice your English too. It's, it's a fun movie. Okay. All right, and so who's next? Who has uh, another comment? Jeff? Yes, Isma. Uh, uh, I think uh, the governments uh, are behaving in a smart way. Uh, they are supporting uh, some uh, A-list uh, producer uh, and uh, director uh, to make films about uh, their country. They uh, they shot uh, with uh, one stone tubers. There is a word yes. in our culture. Yeah. I couldn't say in English. But no, we have the same uh, expression. They are killing two birds with one stone. First of all, uh, they get uh, advertising their country, their culture, their uh, natural beauty of uh, your country and they are making uh, some propaganda about uh, their country and their culture. Yeah. They changing uh, the idea uh, of the world about uh, their uh, country. And yeah. they get uh, some income after this film. When this film was successful, lots of people are uh, visiting the country, like uh, Peter Jackson's uh, films, uh, Lord of Rings. New yeah. Zealand has become uh, many tourists from all around the world after has this become, film. It has become a, a tourist destination. Y yes. Yeah, all right, great, excellent. Yeah, killing two birds with one stone. And the Chinese government wants to change the international community's opinion, maybe, of, of, of China. And so, yeah, all right, great. Who's, who's next? Who's next? <laughs> I think uh, yes. the BBC uh, documentaries uh, are so so beautiful uh, uh, they made uh, a movie's touch all thing uh, all things in, in the life i think in in uh, in life in religion uh, in culture in science in, in everything i uh, i love uh, i love uh, watching it in uh, bbc document Okay, I, I totally agree with you, Abdallah. I grew up as a, as a child, as a young kid. 
I grew up watching BBC documentaries. I think they are excellent. And documentaries, I recommend those to students because the English is easier to understand. And you need to try and find things that you can understand, you know, at least 90% of what you're, what you're listening to, what you're reading, without having to work too hard at it. And so, uh, you know what, I, I think I'll, I'll just end um, that right now, uh, sorry, I'll end the class, and uh, what I'll do is I'll just quickly take this, and uh, your comments were really great, and I'm going to uh, take, sorry, this and paste it into the chat box, uh, so maybe you guys can grab a copy of it if you want. Yeah, I've seen some good Mexican movies uh, that I enjoyed that were not about drug lords, etc. Uh, like uh, Perros, uh, what was that called? Victor, uh, Perros Amores or? Eh, Amores Perros. Oh, Amores Perros. Yeah, I really liked that movie. That was cool. All right, so all the best. Good work. I hope that your English is a little bit better. And uh, I hope that you've learned something new. Stay tuned. The verbling is going to be as big as the Chinese film industry. So <laughs> both of these things are going up yeah, and up. And so, <laughs> that's just a little bit of propaganda from verbling.com. Okay, solid. see you, Jeff. Not obvious. <laughs> see you, Jeff. Guys, good work. Thanks you so much. Keep, keep working on that English. Yes, see you soon. Thanks a lot.